The Renault Nissan is a unique concept. Since the alliance was formed, the market capitalization of both companies has increased dramatically. A well-deserved growth coming from high level of performance. We're talking about the fact that the Lions want to grow, the Lions want to be more successful. Because competitiveness frees the company. The Lions is a powerful, flexible tool to enhance the performance of its members. This win-win deal will strengthen the global competitiveness of both companies. I want to preserve the health of the Lions for the long term. People are all driven by a vision. There is obviously the company vision, there is the collective vision, but each one has its own interpretation of this vision. The common interest, the win-win, is very important to maintain a sustainable effort from both parties to go for the whole potential of the good idea. So energy is very important. It's a one burst of energy. It's a continuous flow of energy. There is no benchmark. We are the benchmark. So we have to constantly innovate and we are relying on individual initiatives, on individual goodwill. The Alliance, I, I think it's just a massive opportunity. When it works well is when people get on and take the opportunity. Our production system, in my opinion, is the most transferable and transferable internationally. It's a fantastic system. It's based on common sense. In Renault, I was asked to help out the application of the Nissan production way. Started in Paris. I worked in the Douai plant in northern France. I worked in the Palencia plant in central Spain. I worked in the Bursa plant in Turkey. And then later back in the Sonderville plant in France. And I do think the pickup that we're launching in Brazil will be much more competitive and it will have Renault to improve their operations as well. Renault started investment in uh, Brazil in uh, 1996. And what we can say in Mercosur is not uh, a project we have to make together. It's a daily work we are, we are making together. The task team has changed. From the Nissan perspective, because um, we're launching new vehicles through Renault. It's one of the major markets on the planet, surpassing in total industry volumes. We share at Nissan about up to 90% of the supplier base with Renault. It's clear that we have here in Brazil a manufacturing capacity that can produce Renault car and Nissan car. One company will lead a specific project. Key issue for the future are the new Alliance plants. So in uh, India, in Chennai, run by Nissan, and in Morocco, in Tangier, run by Renault. I think that's key issue for the Alliance. We have uh, to consider uh, more and more global activities instead of only in Japan and uh, in France or in Europe. In the past, we were uh, exchanging best practices, looking for opportunities for improvement. But now it's a new way because we are building something new together for the benefit of the Alliance. We have close relationship with the planning steering committee regarding CO2 actions, regarding electrical vehicle, regarding also ULC, ultra low cost vehicle. I think that one success factor for the Alliance may be summarized by one word, which is Respect. Brands shouldn't be separate. This is a really uh, important. This is a kind of very uh, bottom line of the alliance. Behind the brand, uh, which is not seen to the customer, then we can share a lot of the technologies, components, way of management, everything. In the future, almost all employees should have some kind of uh, experience working with the partner. And that, that's really necessary. We have started to do things that were impossible at the beginning. So, uh, Alliance Engine Development. There are already more than 60 launches and uh, more than 100 for development of going. I would be very happy actually to be in a position where it's kind of bubbling from everywhere and you have rather to say to people, hey, be careful, there are too many ideas, we cannot do everything at the same time. In RNPO, we deliver results. Now we have two main challenges. The first one is our global expansion. We have now seven 
Petitly Organization, acting for both Renault and Nissan in the different new countries. The second one is to work with engineering with all specificators in order to increase the number of common components, common specifications for the Reliance. I'm very attached to those values that are the values of the Reliance. Respect, trust, and transparency. RMPO is Alliance itself. In order to have the better performance for the Alliance, I think uh, we should have very intensive communication face-to-face. -face. That is my belief. Today we have a team working seminar with uh, Japanese, French, and American, and tomorrow there will be probably team working seminar with uh, India, Korean, and other nationalities. It's still much easier to work harder for somebody and make special requests of somebody if you actually know them. So our uh, strengths can be created by the global region, not only uh, between uh, Tokyo and Paris. The next challenge will be to succeed in uh, our internationalization. I think it's very, very useful to have somebody in another company that's partner of our company and then you can phone up and say, how did you do this one? It saves a lot of time. If we can make the Alliance into something where thousands of people phone each other every day to share their problems and experiences and consult with each other, I think that would probably be the ultimate because then it would just be like one company. I was asked to help. It's a daily work. We share investment, building something new. Face to face. Respect. Respect. Trust. Proactivity. Actually, no, no. our uh, strengths, the next challenge. The massive opportunity. Driven by your vision. Driven by your vision.